Aloha, Councilman Tom Berg here. I'm making two points in this video. First of all, the construction debris associated with the rail endeavor. All that construction demolition waste is going to the Nanakuli area, to the PVT privately run landfill. So I've introduced a compensation package at the City Council that I believe out of this rail project, the people of the Nanakuli area should be duly compensated for having to house and store and put up with all the hauling trucks and whatever have you, the condemnation, eminent domain of properties, all the warehouses torn down, all that debris in town goes to Nanakuli, but yet the rail doesn't serve the people directly in the Nanakuli area. So that's an injustice, and I'm trying to correct that. Second of all in this video, I'm making a point that the technology the City Council chose for handling Sand Island wastewater treatment plant facilities waste, that it was to go to a company called Sinegro to make pellets out of the wastewater, that in 03, when the Council decided to go with that technology, the Council today in 2011 is balking. They don't want to go backwards. The Council says in 2011, why, why are we getting 03 technology? There's been many advancements in processing wastewater. Let's go with new technology. Well, that's the point I'm making on this rail. When the alternative analysis was done to pick steel wheel on steel rail, there's been many advancements to urban magnetic levitation, another system of rail that is quieter, superior to steel wheel. Why aren't we going with that product Thank instead? Thank you, sir. Thank you for your time. Thank, Thank you, sir. You, Members, any questions? Uh, Council Member Burke has a question for you, sir. You are a member of the Waianae Neighborhood Board, correct? Uh, yes, I am. Did your board take up issues with shipping of sludge in your community? Yes, yes they did. did. And that shipping yeah. of sludge transpired because of new technology where this council, this council in 03, said you're going to get the pellets, you're getting Sinegro, we're moving forward. Since 03 to today, this council is saying, we'll entertain new technology. Things have changed over the years. Is that correct with rail? Uh, absolutely, especially in the last five years. Okay, so with all the changes in rail, your community is getting all the debris of construction demolition where rail doesn't serve you. If maglev or monorail were advanced, A, doesn't delay the rail project, B, you still get the federal dollars, C, it's less expensive to the taxpayer, most importantly, your quality of life's improved because you don't have the noise. But here's what I'm getting at with your board. The debris goes to a private landfill out on the Waianae coast. Monorail maglev is of a concern of yours, and I appreciate you coming here. My question is, if you went with different rail technologies, the amount of construction demolition would be lesser than out on the Waianae coast. So that has not even been of discussion. So to squelch and qualm uh, the concerns by saying we've made a decision is an affront to your, to your community. Is that, is that so? I agree, and I apologize for the oversight of not mentioning that already. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Any, please, any further questions? Please the watch the, the video of the noise. Any further